slight hydraulic leak. Just like farming simulator. Oh yeah. Yup, it's a bale. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna set the uh, pickup down because I'm our seasoned expert. I have more round baling experience than anyone else on this property right now. That's because I've round baled for like two or three hours successfully thanks to mechanic Steve coming and fixing the baler. So Steve, you're not that familiar with farm equipment, right? Huh? <laughs> farm who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pass by it all the time, man. Yeah, yeah. So you've driven a tractor before though, right? Yeah. You drove this one at least around the yard once. Have you ever operated a baler? Nope. Well, luckily we have our season pro of like 20 bales. <laughs> Come on, Chucky. Ah. <laughs> I am way too tall for this. This is a children's sized area. This, this is one thing I don't like about the tractor. Well, the cab is a little bit on the cramp side. Buy a bigger tractor? Yeah, look, you go wrong. All right, hopefully you guys can see something here. Maybe I'll have to operate this camera manually. Okay, it brings back memories of my childhood. So let's see, PTO is that big yellow knob over there. I'd engageify that in a moment. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so this thing is set to to wrap at 58 inches, 58 inches. So it's like three quarters of a bale in here. Okay. I find it helps if we drop the RPMs down. It seems to wrap better uh, because we still don't have all the kinks worked out of that. I drop them down to like, I don't know, 1300 or so as it's tying. Uh, just have your hand, when it's wrapping, have your hand over that PTO thing because if it starts beeping, there's an error message, shut it off. Otherwise, it'll wrap one bale like 90 times like it did the one out there. Uh, that's probably an exaggeration, but if we do that a bunch of times, we might not have enough to get through all this. So, um, and I normally bale at like 1800 RPMs with this thing, okay. which is about 400 PTO RPMs because I don't want to run it at 540 until I fix what's causing it to bounce back and forth. Any questions? Oh yeah, oh yeah, and the gate is that one, the one furthest back. Okay. Yeah. And so, you gauge PTO, rub it up. Yeah, I would do this in like third gear. I was bailing in as fast as six. The bigger the windrows, the slower we go. You got to hold in the clutch. The oh yeah, it's a a round motion. Yeah. Yep. Three. You gauge PTO. Yeah. Just all the way. Or? Yeah, it's only got one chooch. Yeah, all right, we'll just wolf down a little bit of hay there. All right, throttle, about 1800 or so. All right, put the shift, you know what, I'll do this, I can handle that, and slowly let off the clutch. You are bailing hay, how does it feel? Fantastic, it's yeah, everything it's I ever dreamed of. Yeah. Hey, your kids are right, it is fun to sit here and watch that thing count. So yeah, just try to straddle that windrow. Center. What? Get extremely to the left? Yeah, uh, yeah, and watch that thing, because you will have to center it according to that, like straddle it off to the left or right. It feels weird giving lessons on this on account of me having bailed like 20 bales so far, but Mechanic Steve was nice enough to come out and help me get this thing going so he can share in the fun. Yeah. So I'm watching how much hay is going into that. Uh, if you wanted, uh, that, uh, no, I wouldn't. Here we could do fourth gear. Uh, uh, so we're getting close to 58. What do I do at 58? Uh, just be ready to mash the clutch. Leave the PTO on though, because it needs that to tie, because once it sucks in the net wrap there, clutch. All right, drop the RPMs to 1300 or so. It's spinning. All right, put your hand over the PTO thing just in case, and it'll either say error or it'll like not say error. If it says error, turn off the PTO. Yep. Perfect. All right, that means I have to go jack with it. Whee! Now this is automatic. See, watch. I hit this button, <laughs> the monkey jumps out. Somehow it didn't have net wrap in there. That's a problem it's only done once. Huh. Yeah, all right, uh, so let's see now. All right, uh, now, yeah, now, now PTO. 
All right, it's eating it. Air? Yeah, all right, kill it. Okay. Yeah, but it, it took enough wrap, I counted. So it's a somewhat hillbilly system. It runs for like 10 or 12 seconds at that speed. Okay, PTO just for, run it for just like two seconds. That's gonna suck in the last of the net wrap and then shut it off. Okay, now use that third lever to lift the tailgate. On the way. Tailgate's up, bails out, and you can set it down. All right, yeah, so having some net wrap issues, but we can make it work. It is slow. However, unlike a square baler, you know, if the knotter should start gonna work or something, it's just gonna be a disaster. All right, PTO on. Rip them, and then here we go. I wish this was going smoother for you, Steve. I don't know what the complaint is. I've been, I mean, I'm perfectly fine in here. Chuck's <laughs> getting out there, Jack. It's a two-man operation. I mean. We joked earlier about having a seven-year-old just like stand on the deck of the baler with a pocket knife yeah. and, just, and just reach in there. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, what fun would life be if everything worked out perfectly? I was gonna say the window is turning without you. Yeah, I'm not watching this, trying to make it even. Yeah, it's very hard to choose between the two. You need like a kid to sit where I am and yell left or right or whatever. How was Caleb? Is he enjoying it? Yeah, he had a blast. They both did. They're very good company. Right up Caleb's alley. Yeah, he likes mechanical stuff. Oh yeah. Cool. It's already up to 42. That is counting up there pretty fast. But this is a pretty large, to me, windrow. Dude, you know the, the cheap Kubota I got? Yeah. We're gonna come back and shred the middle of this field on account of it being like shrubs and trees and whatnot with it. Yeah. And I'm gonna throw down some fertilizer hopefully, and hopefully by next cutting this whole field's usable. I was just able to get a little bit of grass on the outside this time. All right, so what are you gonna do when it starts beeping? Uh, clutch? Yes. Clutch, throttle down. You're probably technically, that's probably not technically required, but this thing seems to like it. It, it feeds the net wrap 10 times smoother. I don't know why. Steve, you were never good at Tetris, were you? That was awesome at Tetris. What are you talking about? Yeah, all right, all right, let's see. Come on, start eating net wrap. Dang it. This thing is a work in progress. All right, uh, so let's see here. Shut up, all right. Uh, yeah, turn on the PTO, and I'll try to get this going so it's gonna eat that net wrap. All right, kill it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so. If we can figure out what that horrendous grinding noise is, that would also be preferable. Hmm, I was supposed to make that noise. I was wondering about that. Oh boy. Oh. Ah. All right. Hey. All right, ready? Uh, almost. Okay, uh, now just run the PTO for like a second, for like 10 seconds. All right, there's good. Yeah, it's not wanting to cut it. Um, run the run the PTO for a couple seconds to take in the last of that net wrap. All right, kill it. Why is it still feeding net wrap? Should not be feeding net wrap. Maybe we took the uh, wrong two springs off. This is a new problem. All right, should be good. Let's try to dump it. The bale, yeah. Cool, it's out. You can drop it. There's all that dust. Cool. Alright. That was world record for the longest bale dump in the history of making mechanized farming. But you ready? PTO. PTO. Forward thing forwarding. Whenever you're ready. And we're off. So what do you think? 
of this whole round bailing adventure. I know we still have some bugs to work out, what with the net wrap system, but. That's a learning, you know, I, I love getting into things that I don't have any experience with. Mm -hmm. This is one of them, so this is right up my alley. I mean, I don't, I don't care if I'm not having problems, if I am having problems, like the other deal, this what? isn't. What the heck is trying to find? Stop. Hang on, no. Uh, Uh, we're still PTO on, right? Yeah. All right, I guess that uh, knife arm thing was somehow off. But yeah. Um, so like Chucky and I are doing this and we're not making a living selling the hay. So we don't have like a, a set number, like we've got to do a hundred round bills today or we like don't have fuel. Yeah. It's just kind of hobby stuff, you know, so it's, it's fun. If you're actually having to do this for a living and this is your primary source of income, it'd be very frustrating very quickly. Yes, I do plan to ultimately move towards mostly full-time ranching, but we're not there yet. Woohoo! All right, what the heck is... That grinding is new. I don't know what the heck is going on. Maybe I'll mess with recalibrating that later. 56, so close, you ready? Yep. Please eat that wrap. Ah. Three. Eighteen. Really? Twenty five clutch. Twenty eight hundred. You know, this seems painstakingly slow, and it is having to get out and mess with this thing. However, I've watched some of the older twine balers working that take like, you know, forever to tie with twine. This, believe it or not, is not that much slower. Especially because this thing will eat as much hay as fits under the tractor as fast as I dare shove it in there. So it's slow, but it's not that slow. What do you want to do at the end of this row? Uh, just hit, hit the rest of that, hey. Don't, okay, so there's some stuff over there closer to the tree lines. Don't get that, because okay. it's like full of brush and stuff and shrubs, but this row here. Already up to 42. So what do you think of the round baler itself, the technology or whatever? Yeah, just get as much of that as you can. We'll come back. Pretty cool. Yeah. I'm a fan of it. Yeah, all right, go Just to the it. left, see if you can dodge that brush. That's yeah, okay if you don't. What, this, this brush? No, you're, you're good. Just a little twig stick thing. Yeah, so overshoot this row. All right, turn hard now, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got almost all of that. That took me like 20 turns to get to that point. All right, 52, you ready? Nah. Get ready! Let's Looks like you're making a pretty even bail according to it. Let's just keep driving. <laughs> you ever seen that uh, YouTube video? Those two running around in the um, uh, rally race? No. See what happens. Don't do anything yet. It's eating twine or net. All right, kill the PTO. Yeah, I'll go cut it. So anyway, these two running around in this rally car, right? Yeah. No, no. The driver's name is Sammy, and he's got. You know how rally races work. You got your co-pilot as your navigator, and they tell you like there's there's levels of turns. You go one, two, three, four, five. Because turn you know, uh, left five, left five, left three, left five is like yeah, it's a I hard mean, turn. 180. So he takes off. And he's like, full accelerate, full accelerate. Sammy, you're not listening. Sammy, you don't listen. Sammy, you're turning. <laughs> you're just turning the car, Sammy. At the very end of the race, the driver goes, shut up. Don't tell me how to drive. <laughs> you adult. <laughs> Feather the PTO for like three seconds just to suck in the last of that net wrap. 
Alright, turn it off, and it's ready to dump. We can actually dump with the PTO running. There's like a declutcher that stops those belts. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, you can drop it. And we're ready to roll! See, it's slow, but it's... I think it's still faster than the twine balers I've seen, but I don't really know what I'm talking about, so it's probably best not listening. Alright. It takes much power to run one of those, it just takes power to run them fast. Yeah. If you're willing to crawl through some heavy stuff, we'll mash it down. Yeah, just pick one of these windrows and stick with it. We'll come back to the other one. stinking happy man use cheap equipment you can't ask for much all right now in this forks uh go for the windrow on the left on account of the windrow on the right having a tree in it okay <laughs> <laughs> well it's mixed grass mixed with trees <laughs> <laughs> yeah you see that right there yeah yeah <laughs> all right so close oh yeah that uh, Just once I'd like this to wrap properly while you're driving. That'd be pretty cool. Slight hydraulic leak. farming simulator oh yeah yep it's a bail man this thing did so well on the last field and we didn't jack with anything that I can think of did we know we did it and now well pretty much all of these I got to come out here and cut at least my belt splices seem to be holding up. I've never done that either. Oh yeah, my precious. Beauteous. Yeah, dude, that leak is pretty minimal on that cylinder. It loses like a teaspoon of oil when you cycled it. So not bad. All right, that's probably enough continuous filming. 